Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. All right, today we're talking about stem cell therapy for chronic spinal cord injuries. Now, this is based on a very, very good study that came out late last year. This paper was published in a journal called Cytotherapy, C-Y-T-O therapy, and it included 20 patients. Now, when you look at chronic spinal cord injury, we're talking about an injury that occurred over a year ago. So in the first three, six, 12 months after a spinal cord injury, your body attempts to repair the damage naturally. And that goes on for quite a while. And then it sort of starts to dip down. There are various conventional treatments that are in place, such as um, physical therapy, uh, surgical stabilization, there's a fracture, uh, possibly some neurostimulation. You know, all of these things have very limited abilities to resurrect the nerve injury. Now we know from years of clinical trials with stem cell therapy for spinal cord injury that it's been a very safe treatment over the years. But it's been a little bit of a mixed bag as to just how effective it can be. Well this publication included 20 patients in a prospective study and it was open label. They didn't have a, a placebo group and that's Great, I mean, that's more for compassion. Now they had a group A and a group B. Uh, group A, which was half of the participants, received bone marrow stem cell biologic, and group B received umbilical cord stem cell biologic. The participants were over the age of 18. They had a spinal cord injury anywhere from the level of C5 in the cervical spine down to T11. So for the bone marrow group, they did things a little bit differently. They actually did an open surgery and put bone marrow plus some PRP in the area of injury, and then they closed the patient up, and then they also did monthly three intrathecal injections in, through the lower back. All right. For the umbilical cord stem cell treatment, they expanded the stem cells up to passage four. And from reading how they did the expansion, they did it very similar to how we do it uh, at R3. Um, didn't do a surgical procedure for the umbilical cord patients. They simply did three intrathecal injections of 100 million stem cells one month apart. Did they have any side effects? The answer is yes, but they were very similar to what we see, which means they were mild to moderate and temporary. So what were the outcomes clinically between the, the two groups? Well, first of all, the vast majority of patients had an increased sensation in what's called deep anal pressure and increased anal sphincter control. And when the patients were asked about it, they said that this was very helpful to them for their quality of life. So ASIA stands for American Spinal Injury Association. When a person has a spinal cord injury, they get graded on the ASIA scale. So here's the grading. An A means there's complete sensory and motor loss from the level of injury down to the sacrum. B means there's no motor function below the um, level of the injury, and sensory is incomplete loss. C means the motor is incomplete, and you have less than half of the key muscle functions below the level of the injury with muscle grades above uh, three. All right, so it's three out of five is how you grade muscle function. D means motor incomplete as well, but over half of the key muscle functions are uh, at three or greater. And then E is normal. So here, take a look at the chart of the participants in this study from baseline up to two years, all right? So at baseline, most of the participants were at an A, meaning no motor or sensory below the level of injury. Now, let's look at two years where these folks ended up ended up at a C ASIA score. That is incredible, and the authors actually undersold this 
in the journal article. So this was a dramatic outcome for patients who had, on average, six years out from their spinal cord injury. Basically, the outcome of this study is that there was highly objective, positive outcomes for patients who were, on average, over six years out from their spinal cord injury with umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cell treatment simply performed through an intrathecal approach. Now, this is what we do for those who have spinal cord injury. We do intrathecal approach. Uh, along with an IV approach, but we also combine the umbilical cord stem cells with umbilical cord stem cell exosomes. The exosomes have been shown to be very good at neuroregeneration along with reduction of neuroinflammation. Some inflammation is good, but chronic inflammation can actually be detrimental to healing. All right, there you go. A very well done study, fantastic outcomes. R3 has over 70 centers of excellence in seven countries around the world. We are the leading provider of regenerative therapies with over 26,000 stem cell procedures having been performed. Please call us today to set up your free consultation for yourself or a loved one at plus one, 844-GET-STEM. And visit us online at r3stemcell.com.